Hi, welcome back. What I want to do in this video is I want to, um, well actually in, in the last video what we did is we looked at the biosynthesis of ketone bodies. We looked at the biosynthesis of ketone bodies and what we discovered was that ketone bodies are in a, in, in, in a large part con, uh, produced by the liver. So the liver is what produces these ketone bodies, right? The liver produces the ketone bodies, right? And we, we named the three ketone bodies, at least the primary ones, and those are acetoacetate, acetone, and beta-hydroxybutyrate, okay? So these are produced in large part by, uh, by the liver, and what we found is that when you have lots of acetyl-CoA present, when you have lots of acetyl-CoA present, it pushes the equilibrium of thiolase towards the production of acetoacetyl-CoA. And ultimately what you get is acetone and beta-hydroxybutyrate. Now, what we have to understand is that in some tissues, when there is a lack, when there is a lack of glucose present, which is actually um, partly due to something that, well, it's partly due to disorders like diabetes. So in diabetes, uh, people, they lack um, insulin or they lack functional insulin or the insulin receptor is not functional so they can't get glucose through the GLUT4 receptors into the cell and therefore they can't oxidize glucose and glycolysis so one of the main producers of energy besides beta oxidation becomes ketone bodies right so when you have a lot of acetyl-CoA present you produce a lot of these ketone bodies especially when um, there's no glucose present and so ultimately what we're going to start with is we're going to start with in the catabolism, and that's what we're going to look at, in the catabolism of, of ketone bodies, we're going to start with beta-hydroxybutyrate. And beta-hydroxybutyrate is essentially going to look like this. So beta-hydroxybutyrate, the butyrate, of course, being um, the fact that it is a four-carbon uh, carboxylic acid or a carboxylate, and this is the alpha carbon, and this is the beta carbon, so beta-hydroxybutyrate. And what's essentially going to happen is we're going to have an equilibrium reaction. We're going to have an equilibrium reaction. This en and the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is beta-hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase. So beta, let me write that down, beta-hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase and in the direction that we're going at least in the catabolic direction we're going to use NAD so this is an NAD dependent enzyme and we're going to generate and I'm going to do this in a different color we're going to generate NADH so the NADH of course is going to go into the electron transport chain right so this this particular enzyme what it's going to do is it's going to dehydrogenate this particular carbon and oxygen bond and so what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with acetoacetate. So here is acetoacetate. Okay, and if you recall, acetoacetate was actually one of the um, ketone bodies that we ended up producing. But acetoacetate can get catabolized even further. Acetoacetate can get catabolized even further, and it's going to be catabolized by an enzyme called thiophorase thiophorase and actually this enzyme has another name and it's called beta ketoacyl CoA transferase and you might think oh well you know maybe the coenzyme A comes from acetyl CoA but actually it doesn't it actually comes from succinyl CoA succinyl CoA and of course that comes out of the TCA cycle right so succinyl CoA comes in and it kicks off succinate it kicks off succinate and that goes back into the TCA cycle. Well, if you recall, succinyl CoA turns into succinate, and that's of course by the enzyme uh, succinyl coenzyme A synthetase. So, what, you, what ends up happening is you end up bypassing the production of a GTP, right? Because succinyl coenzyme A synthetase produces a GTP. So, if we're going to be metabolizing ketone bodies, we end up losing out on the production of GTP. So I put an X through it just to designate that we lose, we lose the production of it. And actually what will end up happening in this reaction is we kick off a water and we end up generating something that looks like this. And actually you've seen this molecule before. You've seen this. It is acetyl, acetoacetyl-CoA. Acetoacetyl-CoA. 
And acetoacetyl-CoA is going to get consumed by another enzyme. And of course, this is an equilibrium reaction. But if you think about this, right, if we're loading the body up with beta-hydroxybutyrate, right, we're, we're, we're producing a lot of ketone bodies, right, the equilibrium in these reactions are going to be shifted towards this direction, towards the right. So if I'm, I'm essentially loading the body up with acetoacetyl-CoA, and so this enzyme, which is called thiolase, and actually, actually, let me let me put that down here, because I'm actually going to do something on the top there. This enzyme is called thiolase, and you've seen it before. And essentially, what's going to happen is a CoA, a CoA is going to come in, right? CoA is going to come in, and it's going to the, the thiol lone pair is going to do a nucleophilic attack, and it's a nucleophilic acyl substitution, right? It's going to hit this particular carbon. The electrons kick up, they kick back down, and this particular bond comes out and abstracts a proton, right? And so what you end up with, and I'll draw this final product in purple, you end up with two, two acetyl-CoA's. And of course, the acetyl-CoA's can go into the TCA cycle, right? They can go into the TCA cycle. And they can be ultimately consumed by citrate synthase, and you, you're basically powering the TCA cycle. And it turns out that this particular catabolic pathway, where we're catabolizing ketone bodies, is done by every, just about every single tissue except for the liver. Recall that the liver was what produced ketone bodies. So let me write that up here. The liver is what produced ketone bodies, right? And the reason that the liver cannot catabolize them is because the liver lacks this enzyme. This enzyme, the liver, lacks. It does not have thiophorase, or it does not have, it does not have beta ketoacyl CoA transferase. So if the liver doesn't have this enzyme, it cannot convert acetoacetate to acetoacetyl CoA. So the liver. It is, is odd because it makes the ketone bodies, but it cannot consume them and ultimately produce acetyl-CoA. So all the other tissues, all the extra hepatic tissues ultimately are what are consuming the ketone bodies. And actually, one thing I want to be perfectly clear is, is that in someone who's diabetic, and we talked about this in the last video, but in someone who's diabetic, and we mentioned that they, they, they're unable to get glucose into the cell, and so they're doing a lot of beta oxidation, and they're also producing a lot of ketone bodies, right? And one of them that they're producing a lot of was acetone, but ultimately they're producing, producing a lot of beta hydroxybutyrate. And this right here, and let me write this here, this right here is beta hydroxy, but, hydroxybutyrate, right? So if they're producing a lot of beta-hydroxybutyrate, ultimately they're going to be doing this pathway a lot. But there is, there is, I guess, something good that comes out of this pathway, right? Because we generate 2-acetyl-CoA, and we also generate an NADH. We generate an NADH, and, and really this pathway is, a, is, is Le Chatelier's principle in, at work, right? If I'm actively synthesizing a lot of beta-hydroxybutyrate, it's going to force the equilibrium to go towards acetoacetate, and thiophorase is going to consume that to acetoacetyl-CoA. And if I'm loading the body up with acetoacetyl-CoA, I'm going to generate a lot of acetyl-CoA, and then that goes into the TCA cycle and gets consumed by citrate synthase. Okay, so I hope this video made sense. Um, and again, it's it, if you're not catabolizing glucose actively, you are going to be producing most likely a lot of ketone bodies. And of course, that's characteristic of diabetes mellitus. Um, but ultimately, we do get fuel out of this. We get an NADH, we get an NADH, right? And we get two, we get two acetyl-CoA's. So I hope that video helped. See you in the next video.